Hey, yo, check this out. This is Jeff Yeldon, your teen life coach. You've got questions. I've got answers. I got an email from a young man down in Texas. Heard me speak at a school a couple years ago. He's now in college. He and his girlfriend have decided to stay together, knowing that long-distance relationships can be tough. I want to share with you what he said. Um, Jeff, I've since moved on to college. I have many different thoughts. Me and my girlfriend stayed together, even though she's in a different college, but we've been having some problems. We don't fight much, but when we do, it's hard to understand one another's problems. Is there any way to make a long-distance relationship work out, even when we are so busy with college life? Thanks for your time. I got a couple thoughts here. Number one, man, I am truly honored after a couple of years of speaking at your school, J.J. Pierce, down outside Dallas, Texas. What a great school. I remember it like it was yesterday. We had an awesome time. Dude, listen, your email is very mature. Uh, great question. I know in high school you fall in love, and oftentimes the girl becomes the first one you've ever fallen in love with, and she's your everything, and likewise, he's your everything for the girls that are watching this video. You have to understand something about relationships. Relationships are about commitment, and love is an emotion, and an emotion that means nothing without a commitment, and I think sometimes when we're young, we're not ready to make that commitment. Relationships are about growing together. We all have our differences, but we got to come together and you know, relationships are about sacrifice. It's about understanding. It's about togetherness. It's about companionship. It's about giving up certain things. It's about, you know, here's, here's the deal. You're in college and she's in college. I think a successful relationship is one that has a mutual understanding when you're at the college age. You know you love each other. You know you want to be together. But if you're at one college and she's at another college, obviously your classes are different. Your friends are kind of different. Your, your weekends are a little bit different. My personal opinion is that you have the maturity to sit down with her and say, this is the prime time of our life. This is when we grow. This is when we develop. This is when, you know, we, we, we start developing different morals and values. And that helps us to become the person that we want to be. So... Having said that, I think you should sit down and have a coming to Jesus, a heart-to-heart, -heart, a real meaningful conversation, and I think this is about maturity. I think what you should do is allow each other to live their lives and set each other free uh, from commitment and uh, commitments to each other. I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't stay in touch and talk and Facebook and text, but you know what? Allow each other the freedom to grow as an individual. I think if you can do that, you're going to take a lot of stress and pressure off each other that when one's having a bad day, you need to be there and understand. When you can't, you're at your own school, you're not there every single day to listen and understand, comprehend. Dude, man, I think your email is pretty awesome. I think the hard thing is, is breaking up and just letting each other be free. You know, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it's yours. If it doesn't, maybe it never was. You know, I think as parents, as teachers, we've all been in this situation where long-distance relationships don't work out. Um, is it possible that it can work out? Absolutely. Is it an incredible amount of sacrifice? Yeah, it definitely is. Is there a good chance of hurting each other? Yeah. So I think, in short, I know I said it, I'm just going to reiterate it. Have a heart-to-heart -heart and allow each other to grow as individuals to do what you need to do, to take less stress and pressure off each other, allow each other to date, you know, to grow as an individual, you know, wish each other the absolute best. You're mature, she's mature. You never know what's going to happen, man. Dude, I hope I was able to answer your question and give you the best advice. But I think if you're going to be a real man and you really care about her, this is as much of a valuable time in her life as it is your life. And I think sometimes doing the right thing is not the easy thing. And doing the right thing often comes with a lot of emotional pain. But I think in the end, it's the right thing. And I think you're going to become a better person as a result. And I think she will too. Dude, peace out, brother.